Hello guys, welcome to Civilcraft YouTube channel and in this video we are going to discuss about a new topic that is value engineering. I hope many of us are not aware of this topic and in this video I am going to explain you what is value engineering, its uses, its importance, advantages etc. So before going into the video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be receiving a notification whenever I post a new video about civil engineering and architecture. So what is value engineering? Value engineering can be defined as a set of systematic tools and creative methodologies adopted by a construction project team to rectify constraint of costs, quality and scope. Value engineering represents solutions that can be implemented in a project to optimize costs, enhance functional performance and achieve high quality work. Based on the interpretation of Project Management Institute, value engineering is a creative perspective utilized in the project life cycle to increase productivity and quality and to make the project more lucrative. Value engineering can enable engineers to use the project resources within optimum limits and increase market share. Value engineering techniques can be incorporated in the early planning phase of a construction project as they involve the value planning of the project. The primary objective of implementing value engineering in a construction project is to decrease the problems to make the project liable to uncertainties. It is viable to implement value management methodologies in all stages of the project throughout its life cycle. However, it has been observed that the highest benefit is achieved when the value engineering practices are implemented in the preliminary planning and designing phase of the project. This is because the project design is more flexible and can easily adapt to any changes without costing too much. Furthermore, more resources are reserved when value engineering is implemented during the conceptual stage. This is a stage where we can evaluate potential alternatives that would result in increased quality and low costs. This image shows the timeline during which the value engineering can be implemented and its impact on the construction project. Value engineering phases in construction project. Information phase. This phase involves the identification of construction project objectives, constraints, limitations and assessing the status of the project. This phase collects all the mandatory documents, reports, maps and cost details of the project. Primary tools like quality function development are utilized to check the quality. The project may have several strategic issues that can lead towards increased costs and these issues are identified using tools like SWOT analysis. The risk, high cost areas and scheduling performance are comprehensively understood in this phase. Function phase. This phase of value engineering is about the functionality of the project and what a project would do once all the objectives has been achieved. The tools like performance function analysis and cost function analysis are used to develop a comprehensive understanding of the project. Creativity phase. Engineering minds have a propensity for evaluating quick solutions to strategic construction problems and are likely to ignore the aspects of creativity. This phase is related to the development of ideas that would optimize the function of the project's final product at low costs. This phase is all about developing ideas that can serve as alternatives to achieve the objectives of the construction project. Evaluation phase. This phase is about the assessment of all ideas available for increasing construction performance and function. The ideas that are feasible in terms of cost, quality and schedule are selected and implemented practically. These ideas affect performance and cost and this can be depicted by using tools like T-charts. The potential ideas are selected by life cycle costing and choosing by advantage. The construction team would select ideas and concepts that would provide enough time to generate value oriented solutions for construction activities. Development phase. This is the phase where shortlisted ideas are worked into practically workable solutions. These solutions can become the recommendations incorporated in the design to optimize the cost and increase quality and function. These recommendations are selected basically on cost benefit analysis. These alternatives can be applied in construction for increased performance. Presentation phase. 
This phase is all about presenting an alternative solution to the construction project team, stakeholders and other decision makers that are associated with the construction project. All the information is propagated within the project team. In this phase, all the formal reports like risk analysis, cost benefit analysis, justifying documents, value analysis and scope are presented to the project team. Now let's discuss the advantages of value engineering. Value engineering promotes the ability to creative thinking among the decision makers and the project stakeholders. Value engineering ensures a seamless flow of information within the project team and certainty of the given information. It definitely promotes a spirit of teamwork. Value engineering optimizes the cost of the project while increasing the quality of the final product. It establishes a strong working relationship between the designing team and the planning team. This improves the preliminary stage of the project which results in a high performance project. Several ideas are generated that can be later used on similar projects with efficient results. And that's all for this video guys. I hope you got a basic information on what is value engineering and do like and share this video if you find it useful.